各种金属以及线路盘根错节，像是现代艺术的装置，是被看成人类科技新未来，有望超越超级电脑的量子电脑。Quantum computing is a completely different paradigm of computation, and we are accustomed to. What we call classical computing,、uh, using zeros and one to process information. Quantum computing does. The processing of information and manipulates information in a completely different way. 跳脱传统电脑零与一的计算方式，量子电脑可以是零与一的叠加态，完全跳脱目前的电脑运算。因此，超级电脑可能无法运算出来的难题，量子电脑就能接受。复杂的大数据都能迎刃而解。So financial services, there are lots of simulations that they need to do with how they allocate. Assets, how they make a, a recommendation of a best way to invest for a certain client. Those are correlations that can be very complex.、Yeah. It could take up to eight to ten hours for a computer to do a Monte Carlo simulation.、Mm -hmm. Hopefully, with quantum computing, you're going to do, be able to do that in milliseconds.、Okay. 不少科技大厂都看上量子电脑的超能力，包括 IBM, Intel, 还有 Google， 全都投入量子电脑的发展。Performance is about the amount of qubits that you can put on a single chip.、Mm -hmm. So, at the end of last year, we announced a major milestone. We achieved 433 qubits、yeah. in one single chip. Then the second aspect is、um, making sure that those qubits that are inside those chips, they behave properly according to quantum physics. IBM 还跟加州大学伯克莱分校的专家合作，让一百二十七量子位元的量子电脑与传统超级电脑执行复杂问题，突破量子电脑充满杂讯、容易出现错误的缺点，实现所谓的量子效能。By using some of the novel error mitigation techniques that IBM has introduced, we actually found that the quantum device easily matched exact classical results and outperformed approximate classical results in cases where the exact answer was available. Impressively, even as we moved to circuits beyond exact classical methods, quantum still appeared to be more reliable than some of the approximate methods that we tried on these large supercomputers. IBM 还发下豪语，希望在两年内打破传统电脑。Uh, we have physical uh, machines um, in the United States,、yep. in Germany, in partnership with Fraunhofer Institute,、yep. in Japan, in Tokyo.、Um, but these are very specific implementations. The approach that we want to take is really to make the quantum-centric, which is really a computer that is going to be accessible through the cloud. 目前量子电脑也成为美中科技战的角力场，尤其量子电脑可能成为破解加密讯息的强大工具，恐怕影响情报安全。美国就积极研究抗量子演算法。IBM 也跟 Google 携手投入 1.5 亿美元的资金，与东京大学还有芝加哥大学共同合作展开研究。透过美日联手准备对抗中国大陆在量子运算领域的势力。TVB 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。